Hey, this is the CND channel. I'm Chris, this is Dave, and this is MMA for you. Uh, we're going to be doing our predictions for Bellator 75, which is going to happen this Friday on October 5th. Any thoughts on the heavyweight tournament, man? So you got the big guys. Oh, well, I will get a big guy. You got a quick guy. Uh, I don't know about that, man. We will see. Okay, let's just get this started, man. We got Eric Prano versus Tiago Santos. Rematch from last. No brainer, Tiago Santos. Oh, yeah, Tiago Santos all the way, man. I mean, look at his record 10 1 0 1 record. Perfect. Mm -hmm. 2 KO, TKO, 5 is submission. 25 years ago, uh, BJJ Black Bell. Mm -hmm. Good takedown, decent style. Oh, yeah, man. This guy, he hits hard, too. Eric Prano is mainly a boxer. He, he's kind of one dimensional, though. Take that, huh? He hits weak on his back. Dude, yeah. imagine Diego just go over there, take him down, BJJ his ass out, then we finish. Yeah, his last fight, I mean, he just got taken down. And then half guard when he was on the bottom, oh. he got Camaroed. Goodbye. Yeah, he didn't seem like he knew what he was doing down there. And so, so this is why Diego all the way. Diego Santos. Cool. Next fight after that, we have Brett the Grim Rogers versus Alexander Volkov. I got a Russian muscle. You got Alexander Volkov. Why, man? What's what's special about this guy? It's Russian muscle. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, 16 and 3 records. Not bad at all. Uh, yeah. uh, I mean, 13 KO, TKO. Definitely a freaking KO machine. Mm -hmm. And one submission. I mean, two loss by sub. So yeah, he, has a, he doesn't have to worry about that. Like, I know, you know, ex exactly. It's not going to go to on the ground. 23 years old, still young. Simplified winning streak. This is a Russian train come over here, you know. So I mean, he trained at Red uh, Devil Spa Club. Yeah, you know who else trains there? Who was Fedor? Fedor. Right, Fedor trains there. Nice. I mean, I just feel uh, you know, with the muscle wise, with the stand on wise, he is definitely mm -hmm. somebody you know I can depend on. Oh, you know what though, man? I have a soft spot for the Grim. I'm gonna go with Rogers here, man. Is that he, rational, dude? It's not the most rational. Uh, oh, you know what? He has strong stand up too and some heavy hands. But Decent you're talking jab. About Russian muscle, man. Yeah, I know, but you got you got this huge 265 black man. I mean, well, well, that's, well, that's true. Well, well, uh, versus, you know, uh, this is gonna be pretty cool, actually. <laughs> <laughs> two two heavyweight machine, you know, kill each other. That's why I remember for MMA. Yeah. One thing that's also cool about Rogers, he's training at American Top Team these days. Uh, you know, he's got, he had a pretty rough 2011. You know, some unforgivable stuff he did, uh, uh, but he is coming, trying to come back from it. So um, well, I'm gonna go with Rogers with this. I still want to rush your muscle because he has seven winning streak. Come on. Well, we'll see. We will see. Okay, next right after that, Richard Hale fights Mike Russell. Mike Russell. You got Russell, I got Hale, man. You Hale. What? <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? Tell me why. R Richard Hale, I mean, he's fought at 205, but he's also fought in heavyweight. Mm -hmm. He does have some pretty solid boxing, mm -hmm. uh, r good Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and he's creative on the ground. He's one of the, uh, he's like the second guy in Bellador to do a reverse triangle choke. Well, that's impressive. Well, mm -hmm. I agree with you, Richard Harrell, 19 for one record, pretty good record, I mean, AKO, TKO, HMH, really mm -hmm. well rounded, and two loss by KO, TKO, but that's in inevitable, I mean, you know, mm -hmm. 37 is a little bit, you know, but it's not that bad at all. Mm -hmm. You got Richard Hill too then, right? No, I got Mac Russell, what are you talking <laughs> about? 12 for record, not too shabby, semi KO, TKO, one submission. Three loss, but uh, let's not talk about that. Um, but he is uh, very durable. Okay? Oh yeah, man. He's like he, he he's is. like hitting the wall, dude. Yeah. He's like Michael Hughes. Yeah. Michael Hughes, you know, he's just hitting him. He's not going down. So yeah. that's why I like, you know, Michael Mike because yeah. uh, the durability. Durability, resilience, resilience, yeah, decent style. Yeah. You know, you can't finish him. I mean, then it go back to how much cardio do you have? You know, how much uh, can you hold on? I mean, mm -hmm. he can finish you too. You know. Yeah, exactly. Oh, well, we'll see, man. I got Hale. I think he's more. Uh, he's he's a better technician. 
What technician no- nonsense, man? It's who have a muscle to. Today's oh. a muscle day. Well, next right after that, we have Mark Halata versus Vinicius Krerovs. Mark Halata. I got Vinicius, man. Dude, you, are you just trying to be different with me today? Yeah, That's man. You, this dude. guy, 5-2 and two record, 5 wins by K. Ortico. He trains at Shoot the Box, man. Shoot the guy Box. Trains where Shogun trained, Vanderlei. I mean, come on. What, what does a lot of got? When is he fight last time? October two two thousand ten. Wow, oh, that's like oh. two years ago. Oh, <laughs> doesn't matter. Yes, it does matter. You know that matter. What are you talking about? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Can he still fight, or is he just gonna be <sighs> sleeping? Uh-huh. I don't know, dude. I mean, you know, five and two record. If you think that's the best record in the world, check out twelve and three, dude. Okay. And three KO, TKO, five submission. I mean, you know, I'm just thinking my record wise is better. Plus, I don't have a two year out of commission. Okay, we'll see about that, man. We'll Let's see. see. Okay, on to the prelims. Okay, uh, David Bo Harris fights Chase Baby. Chase Baby. Oh, Chase Baby all the way. This is almost like a. A squash match, to be honest here. Good night. Yeah. Um, there's not much I, I really want to say because I think Dee just superior fighter here, you know. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, wrestling especially. Um, when you put wrestling and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu combination, it's Dee Yeah. Okay, next round after that. Kind of a pick em fight for me as Brandon Del Prado fights Joe Williams. I agree. It's... Uh, it's the same with me. I mean, uh, I got I got Joe Williams though. Dude, Who do you have? I just said Brendan. Why you Why you have to pick different with me? <laughs> Every single time, what's wrong with you? It's a uh, my brand is a five one record. Record mm-hmm. wise is good. Mm-hmm. Not too much. Not know so much about him. But look at record two KO TKO uh two submission. Well, it looks pretty good. My guy is six and one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Three wins by KRT and two wins by Sub, 27 years old. Maybe I should switch, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just go on to the next fight. Jason Graves fights Rafael uh, Skabinski. Rafael? Yeah. I just. Oh, go ahead, man. It's a 4 and 1 record, 1 TKO, 3 submission, a finish, 2 5 win streak. Yeah. Yeah, agreed, man. The thing with Graves, I don't pick. I generally don't pick guys come off losing records. He has two wins and three losses. Two and three records. I mean, mm-hmm. um, record wise, I wouldn't want to, you know, try. I mean, mm-hmm. one loss by TKO, two loss by submission, not a pretty record. Oh, his wins and losses are by finish, <laughs> and so yeah, gotta go with Rafael here. Mm-hmm. Okay, next right after that, kind of a big fight here too. Uh, Jose Medina fights Anthony Gomez. I do Jose just for the fight being different with you. Oh, I got Gomez, man. Five and two record, two KO TKOs, one sub, five, uh, seven times more fights than you got. Yes, yes. Yeah. I am not making any comment on this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And finally, uh, we got Cliff Wright Jr. versus Bobby uh, Reardance. Cliff Wright Jr. Yeah, it's the same idea with the Graves fight. Yeah. I'm going with Cliff Wright Jr. as well, just because he has a winning record, whereas Rear Dance has 8 wins, 11 losses. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. I do want to bring out one thing, though. I mean, Cliff, he has 6 submissions, so he's the finisher on submission. Oh, yeah. And then while, you know, if, if we look at Bobby, he lost 4 by submission. Mm-hmm. So that means that uh, his submission defensive is not, not superior. So it, it gave for Cliff a chance to fight. Cool. Yeah, let's yeah. do a recap. Let's do a quick recap. Eric Pringle versus Tiago Santos. Tiago. Tiago Santos here. Brett Rogers versus Alexander Volkov. Russian Machine. Okay, I got Brett the Grim Rogers. We got uh, Richard Hale versus Mike Wessel. Mike Wessel. I got Richard Hale. And Mark Halada fights Venetius uh, Krerovs. Mark. I got Venetius. Okay, on to the prelims. David Bo Harris fights Chase Beebe. Chase Beebe. Yep, Chase Beebe here. Okay, Brandon Del Prado fights Joe Williams. Brandon. I got Joe Williams. Okay, Jason Graves fights Rafael Skabinski. Rafael. Yep, I got Skabinski as well. 
Uh, Jose Medina fights Anthony Gomez. Jose Medina. Why am I picking here again? Oh, I got Anthony <laughs> Gomez. And finally, Cliff Wright Jr. fights Bobby Reardance. Cliff. Okay, I also got Cliff Wright Jr. So that's pretty much our predictions for Bellator 75. If you have any comments, just leave them below. Any final words, my man? I just saw uh, you know, the last uh, video that somebody is missing me. I'm back here, man. I love you, fan. I love you. Okay. <laughs> okay, and that's pretty much it for MMA for you. Thank you guys very much.